So this is the AT100 automatic ATU and uh, excuse the uh, problem with focusing but I'll do my best here to, to try and keep the, uh, the video in there uh, in focus. When I switch on I get the uh, the intro screen and then it goes on to the default screen so let's try that. Okay, what it's doing there is it's showing the last setting, uh, the last time I used it. And you can see the capacitance was 320, is it? 320 uh, uh, picofarad, and the uh, the inductance was 2.87 microhenries. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test my antenna. It's a long wire, about 30 meters long with a counterpoise. And what I'm going to do here is, uh, first of all, I'm going to test the antenna itself uh, without any ATU. And I do that by pressing the bypass button. And uh, you can see uh, the underscore symbol appears in the display. So uh, I'm on 40 meters here and I'm going to send a signal through the ATU. Well, not through the ATU, but directly to the antenna. But the uh, ATU will uh, still monitor the SWR. So you can see it's 9.99, which is very high. That's probably the max that the uh, the device can read. 
so I won't keep it at that uh, for too long. Uh, I might burn out the uh, final transistor. So we'll switch off the bypass mode there, and we're back now to the normal uh, display. And uh, I'm going to reset everything. Okay, there's reset. Single press, sharp press on the button will reset. And then uh, a long press will go into tune mode. So remember the SWR was about 10. So now I'm going to send the signal through it again. And the SWR is... Uh, 1.1 uh, or thereabouts, and you could hear the relays chattering as I, uh, as I, uh, as the uh, ATU tuned. So there you go. Uh, so seven three for the moment. Echo India five. Echo Mike. Okay, this time I'm going to demonstrate the use of the auto tune button. Uh, and the idea behind that is once you've tuned in the SWR on a particular frequency, if I press the uh, auto tune button, it will uh, adjust, it will tune as if I change frequency. So uh, we're on the, uh, I'll go to another band just for pigger and uh, we'll go on to the 80 meter band there and uh, I'll go to tune long press and now I'm going to send a signal through so the SWR there is quite good actually 1.3 or thereabouts uh, that's on the 80 meter band now I'm going to go up uh, to let's see how far I go up I'll switch off the transmitter first I'll go up to uh, the, this is the uh, 17 meter band. Now the settings uh, will be saved there for the, uh, for, for the previous one. But what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to switch on the, uh, the auto tune. And I do that by pressing this button here. I get a full stop or a, or a period up here uh, to show that the, uh, the auto tune is uh, operational. So now let me see the. Uh, you should hear the relays chatter as it tries to adjust to the new frequency. So uh, I'm just going to put another signal through here now on the 17 meter band. And you can see there it tuned. It's a little bit high. Well, it's still trying to tune. 1 point, uh, what is it, 1.9 or thereabouts, 1 point, 1.07 there at the moment. So you can see there when I change frequency, I'll go to another band. I'll go up to the, uh, the um, 28 megs band. So up we go here and see there's a track there. So uh, once again, I have to send it. I have to send a carrier. SWR is a little bit high, but it's below three. It's, it's varying there. Oh, it's still trying again. 2.13. Uh, so that's the, uh, the operation of the uh, auto-tune button switch it off and uh, I hope uh, my demo uh, was uh, explained uh, what needed to be explained the uh, ATU can be set up without the uh, the bypass or the auto tune button by just uh, the tune button alone but uh, it's more flexible uh, to connect up the two optional buttons which I have done here so that's it for now. 7-3 from Echo India 5, Echo Mike.